Hello and welcome to another episode of Damn White Books. On today's review of the classics, I'll be focusing on perhaps one of the most well-known books of the 20th century. It was a creation that was to be his last, but certainly the most unforgettable. And that, of course, is George Orwell's classic, Now this is a hard book to review and I say that for two reasons, do I rush in and talk of the culture significance and the eerily true predictions made by Orwell in a time where technology as the kind we know it today was barely conceivable, or do I review it on the merits of the storyline, the characters, the ongoing struggle and the tale of love destined to fail? In all honesty, I don't know where to begin, but what I will say is this, this book is famous for a reason. The dystopian setting featured in 1984 quite remarkably draws parallels to modern day life, and that may be easily discredited by some, but for a book written in 1949, that is a staggering achievement. The contrast between the changing societies after World War II, and indeed the surveillance culture in modern society, makes for a book that without mention of the story, is rather something special in of itself, not just for its technological predictions, but in the way it comments on the dangerous political and socio-economic systems looming over our world. But let's hold back for just a minute, and let me introduce you to the central characters. This is a book, after all. We meet Winston Smith in his bare apartment where a large and looming telescreen is lingering over him on the back wall. It's 1984, but not in the way anyone would know. There's something wrong with this future. There are eyes everywhere, nothing is private, and Big Brother is always watching. One dare not step out of line, but the thought is hard to kill. The cameras keep on us eye, and did I mention? Big Brother is always watching. Helicopters fly close to windows to inspect what is happening inside, and the television listens to everything and anything against the party, even while you sleep. If this sounds scary, let it be known that an entity called Big Brother controls everything from the words spoken, the very dictionary of language, and of course the news broadcast on the television. Big Brother not only controls the past, but the present and the future. Now, now that may sound confusing, but, but it's not. Records are edited and everything previously thought true vanishes at will. If you dispute this, then so too you will also vanish. Big Brother is omnipotent. Big Brother is infallible. And to question, even think out of line, that will vanish you. War is peace, freedom is slavery, ignorance is strength. That is the party motto. This world by very definition draws parallels to totalitarian states and the power struggles between classes. It is this extreme version of the future that our characters find themselves rebelling in, knowing beyond all cause that they will not last. It is a dying hope. There is no love in this world for that would make men think there is nothing but the fallen desires of women and men, deluded by a society preaching nothing but salvation. And then there are the lucky or unlucky few who can see past the facade. Life is a never-ending game of roulette for our central characters as superpower Big Brother rages war with whomever fits the purpose and people vanish at the click of a finger. It's this unyielding predictability of this love story that makes you want to read on. You almost know the fate, but a compelled to press forward. Winston finds himself caught up in a relationship with a younger member of the party called Julia, who seeks freedom in the same way he does. This fleeting and passionate encounter is sprung off the back of a yearning for more, a desire to be human in a world that shuns every notion of it. You feel for these characters, you want them to succeed, but somewhere in the bottom of your heart, you know they will not. You see Big Brother is master of all, and to go against this monster, that brings our characters into a tragedy of circumstance. It's an intense and rather heartbreaking tale. It's to the core of a state where control is far above welfare. Everything is everyone's, but no one gets anything. And perhaps that is heartbreaking because examples of this can be found all throughout past history. In this modern world, we can provide evidence of the past, good and bad, yet in the society of 1984, the past only exists in the minds of the few. Information is completely controlled and changed at the will of the party. How can anyone disprove anything if it is said to never have existed in the first place? By doing this, heinous crimes can disappear and Big Brother can be whatever it wants to be. It would be foolish to question, yet still, you'd want to question. But don't question. 2 plus 2 will soon equal to 5. Big Brother will have invented the train. Big Brother will have given ample food to all this quarter. Big Brother will be winning the war. Big Brother will have been nothing but kind to all. Big Brother will have made huge strides in welfare. Wait, who are we even at war with? Does, does anyone remember? Big Brother remembers. And I dare you to question it. Thus is the life of a man in 1984. To conclude, 
a great read. I hope I've really tried to get into the mindset uh, and mentality of this society there. Don't want me to freak you out. But the book, the book talks of this all-controlling thing that just can't be questioned. And it's a great read and an essential read in modern times. However, this book did not have the same effect on me as Huxley's Brave New World, another dystopian book I would highly recommend, and I'll try to link here. In comparison, Orwell's book dives deeper into political conflict and economics, and this can sometimes distract from the story. Academics will probably hate me for saying that, but I review such books in terms of enjoyment, and I felt at times, particularly within one section, this book did lose its way a little and went off in the narrative. However, one thing I cannot critique is the statement this book makes upon society, for that is something that stands high above the rest, and for that reason alone, I advise you to read and acknowledge. There is a powerful message to be said here, and it should not be ignored. So, I would rate this book an 87 out of 100, and, I mean, you've got to read it. Everyone's been talking about it for a long time I'm acting as if it's a new book uh, yeah definitely pick it up definitely read it it will certainly give you some ideas and make you perceive things a little bit differently um, and it's a great read um, so 87 out of 100 thank you so much for watching again um, this is Down White Books another book review down I've already wrote the next review um, can't wait to show you it um, thank you for watching give me a like pop me a subscribe and I'll see you soon thank you bye bye